Now, South Africa has extended the invitation to other African countries and developing economies. And CGTN's Yolisa Njamela takes a look at who's attending and why. The leaders of the BRICS countries are expected to converge here in Johannesburg for the BRICS summit. President Cyril Ramaphosa will join them as a host president. South Africa has also determined that an outreach that will take place with African leaders will ensure support for African industrialization and infrastructure development. For this outreach, a number of African countries have been invited in various capacities. These include Rwanda as the chair of the African Union. Namibia will also attend as the incoming SADC chair and Togo as the chair of the Economic Community of West Africa. We're all looking at global leadership. It's not just leadership in our respective countries, but as you would know, we would like to influence discourse on a number of issues around the world that speak to Agenda 2030, that speak to the visions and the value of the existence of BRICS itself. The head of the New Partnership for Africa's Development, or NEPAD, the president of African Development Bank and six regional executive committee secretary generals have also been invited. South Africa will also be hosting another event on the borders of the 10th BRIC Summit, the BRICS Plus Outreach. It will be held to ensure maximum cooperation between the current South African chairmanship of BRICS and the Chinese chairmanship in 2017. The Leadership Summit takes into account a number of things, including the development of the BRICS countries, but also looking at the African continent. And, uh, and as we talk about BRICS Plus, it means that we're inviting more participants to participate within the BRICS ambit to ensure that uh, our countries grow exponentially in terms of uh, the, the political democracies, but also the economies of uh, those countries. Countries like Egypt, Argentina, Indonesia and Turkey have also been invited for BRICS Plus outreach. International Relations Department says the Secretary General of the United Nations will also be invited for the outreach. The Sentin Convention Center will be abuzz with activity. Security is expected to be extremely tight and no one will be allowed to be in this vicinity during that time unless they have the necessary accreditation. Yulisa Njamela for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.